Good morning. It is the end of April, and um, we're not even going to pretend this is not a hot mess. I've been panicking because it's so late in the season. Okay, it's not really, um, but that's what I tell myself, and then I'm in a, just having an absolute fit, but I don't know why I didn't do this video a couple of weeks ago when I started, but finally catching up. Um, so, seeds are out. There's a lot going on, but it's kind of spread out now. Um, tons of seeds in. We've got some herbs, salad, uh, various salad greens that I'm growing out. Things that I don't know what they are. Oh no, my little, it fell over. Um, that's Black Eyed Susan Vine, and I hope that one seedling's not gonna be all there is. The seeds were kind of old. And what do we have in here? Oh, my bell peppers coming up pretty nicely. And over here we have, this is a wizard mix coleus and they're about ready to separate out. And over here are um, some of my specialty coleus seeds like the Kong Rose and the um, Kong Scarlet. Um, let's see what else do we have. I can't even read them. Okay, the Concolia stuff. And over here, oh wow, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. I don't even know if I can get them in the... Teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, those are the giant ex exhibition magna, uh, the magma coleus and the jade wizard. These are gonna be cucumber. Cucumber and cucumber and oh Swiss chard and celery and pak choy. Um, I got some cilantro and da -da -da. what do we have here? Oh my um, what do you call them? Scarlet O'Hara morning glories lemon balms coming up nicely and it's funny because that amount of lemon balm will be more than you could possibly do anything with just crazy amount okay now the exciting thing is we have neighbors next door and um working with them oh i've been working to get the worm bin cycled out and I've been out here sometimes it's just faster to burn things but also wood ash okay guys come on so oh here is where I'm putting the uh, morning glories and moonflowers so in the daytime we'll have morning glories and at night we'll have moonflowers and over here don't judge, I haven't done the Japanese garden clearing out yet. But right here, that's where I'm gonna plant a lot of the lettuce and stuff like that. Because it won't get a lot of direct sun and it should fare, come on guys, should fare better. I should be able to keep it going longer. But how wonderful is this in the morning? We hear you squirrels and birds. Okay, so we walk down here. Come on guys. Over the river and through the woods. To the very edge of my property. I need to finish. I had that tunnel set up and then I took it down and now I have to put it back up. And I forgot the stakes, so I'm not gonna do it right now. And I almost tripped, and that would have been really ugly. Okay, this is actually a cool little hoop. Especially for tender seedlings, or things that I'm worried that the, um, it goes on another little bit. Anyway, that I'm worried, uh, like the deer or rabbits will get. 
These are my super sweet 100s. One, two, three, four, five. And five is way too many. Um, but this is what I was going to show you. Our neighbor tilled this up. And I'm going to meet with them today with my seeds. And we can. Oh my goodness! <gasps> I think. Is she laying eggs? Lucy. Lucy, no ma'am. Is she laying eggs? Trying to make sure she's okay. Where's the, there she is. What is she doing, is she okay? Lucy, they bite, babe. I'm trying to see if she has any injuries that I don't see any. I can tell you right now, she will bite me, though. Okay. A little, little sidetrack there. She's a good sized girl. Okay. Back away. Back away. Lucy, what are you doing over there? Okay, the point was <laughs> this field is ready to plant in, and this is so much space. And I think I'm going to do another one maybe half again as big maybe some long rows because I don't want to walk down I mean you can't walk down your paths but I think they do but anyway um I'll do some more past it in a place down there because I get so much sun so in any event lots and lots of space to grow and we are getting started late on a few things, but a lot of things it doesn't matter. Like the pepper plants, they are gonna, they're gonna produce until November, so I'm not at all concerned about that. The tomato plants, I did buy starts. Um, so, I, you know, it would be too late to start tomatoes, it really would. Um, you wouldn't get, I mean, I guess you could do it. It's not like it costs that much, but it's a pain in the butt and it takes, it would take forever to get tomatoes out of them. Um, but this year, as you see, I have plenty of room for watermelon, which I intend to try to grow. And I just, those seeds will go in this week. So that's what's going on. Um, like I said, I wanted to take a video early because I'm always so discouraged at this time of year. And then when I look back at videos of just a few months later, I'm like, oh, it's gorgeous. It really was doing something. I did clear a lot of this out. You can't tell right now, but I'm pushing back the leaves and I'm gonna put um, coleus behind all of this stuff. Like a wall is my plan of coleus. Look at this gorgeous tree. Look at that, our little And the wild ginger, I'm gonna propagate in a lot of other places because I really love it. More, so much more clearing. So much more clearing to be done. But anyway, um, so that's the deal there. I was breaking out the leaf spoon to there. Oh, but I have two bags of horse manure, which is very exciting, straight out of the pasture. And, um, oh, we have a bullfrog tadpole. He's probably not up right now, 
but he's huge, huge tadpole. Which is how you know it's a bullfrog because there's nothing else that that's that is that big. <laughs> um, boxes I'm still breaking down, but in any event, usually I start out like this: tons and tons of seedlings, and it looks like nothing's going on. Then they start coming up. And then you start putting them out and everything erupts into magic. But this, look, Snoopy, please don't eat. Snoopy, okay, I have to go stop my dog from eating wood ash. <laughs> Happy Heretic 2024 out.